I'm Speedy Cop, and we're back with a 1956 Cessna 310 that we're turning into a road race car. So our fuselage starts off fairly narrow and winds up to 54 inches. Now we've got to get that van wagon chassis narrow enough to fit in the front where the radiator is to keep our cooling system so that we can cool the race car. So to do that, we're going to cut this van wagon chassis down, starting with this width here and taking all of this off. And it's going to widen up to about 50 inches and it's going to fit completely inside of the airplane. You won't see the chassis at all. We're going to take and cut the rear of this off because we don't need that. We're going to take and narrow this chassis down to the width of these inside frame rails. So we're going to cut this off all the way forward on both sides and make that chassis less than 50 inches wide. Now after our last installment, a lot of people asked why we're using a van chassis in an airplane to make a race car. The answer is pretty simple. These van wagons have a mid-mounted engine. The cooling system in the front is already horizontal. It's got a fan on it, so it's pretty ideally set up. We don't want to cut the nose of this beautiful airplane up to put a radiator in the front. We already have a horizontal radiator. We've got rear wheel drive, and we have a fairly simple rugged chassis we can use once it's cut down. So our rear wheel drive van has a solid axle, and this solid axle is going to require about five feet of width in the rear. Now the plane fuselage narrows down to about two feet, so obviously we have a much wider axle than the airplane. So what we're going to do is hide this axle and the rear wheels with pieces of our wings from the airplane so that we can take and cover these up, make them look like engine housings, and that way when the plane's on the track it'll look like a taxiing airplane and not a race car. This is the part of the wing that was attached to the airplane right here. We're going to cut off this section and use it as a winglet on either side of the airplane. It's also going to act as our front fender, so the tire and wheel will be somewhere inside of here. Now we've cut our main wing down to enough of a winglet here to use for our airplane. We can't have too much width coming off the fuselage because we want to drive this on a road race track. But we want to have enough to give the look of an airplane without providing too much aerodynamic lift. We're also going to use this winglet as our front fender. So the front tire of the van chassis is going to be about here behind the winglet. We're going to keep it concealed that way. We're going to build a face over the edge of the wing here. Man, <laughs> he's been at this all day long. It's time to get back to work. series on the build of the plane that we're calling the 24 hours of lemons racer and we're gonna have to do that over again <laughs> Come on, <laughs>